Is it nature or nurture? In Fox Township, on the seaward side of the Southern Alps, Kiers patrol the streets. What could be more charming than a flock of playful parrots on parade? But these birds are armed and dangerous. The Kia's powerful feet and claws can snatch and grab most objects, while that wicked-looking beak acts like a Swiss Army knife, combining cutting blade, chisel, pliers, and a full cutlery set. Equipped with weapons of trash destruction, Kia's are an invasion force to be reckoned with. In this raid, telecommunications are the target. Kiers show little respect, even if there is something worth watching on television. But these are their burrows. And inside... The problem for the long-suffering householder is that these rare native birds enjoy full legal protection. So there's a limit to what can be done within the law to keep them at bay. The only option is to try to keer-proof everything in sight. Buses, bins, even cars. Nonetheless, wiring up your roof to the mains seems a little over the top. Even a truck needs protection. The Kia's appetite for playful mischief seems insatiable. But is that all it is? Or is there more to the Kia's mind than simple curiosity? Just watch this Kia raiding a wheelie bin. It's using its brain as a chess player does to work out a sequence of moves, which logs need to be shifted in what order to allow it to open the bin. And it isn't just clever, it has brawn as well as brains. This isn't a trick the bird was taught. This kia is a wild creature. It figured out the problem without any human prompting. A perfect opening gambit. Observations of intelligent behavior like this have brought scientists from across the world to test the Kia's abilities in its natural habitat in Mount Cook National Park. In this test, the wild Kia is offered some butter, a favorite Kia treat, sandwiched between two plastic cylinders. It can only get the reward by dismantling the apparatus in exactly the reverse order in which it was assembled. This would tax the ingenuity of a monkey or even a young child. After a bit of trial and error, the Kia has solved the puzzle. Meanwhile, another bird is watching and learning from the first Kia's moves. When it comes to the onlooker's turn, it emulates the first bird's actions. Solving the problem to claim its own reward. 
Next, a test of joined up thinking. A wild Kia is unlikely to have seen a puzzle like this before, yet it takes just minutes to claim the prize. Taken one step further, this apparatus invites the bird to create a simple mental map to figure out which string it needs to pull. Most other animals would use trial and error, but the smart Kia goes straight to the solution. Impressed, the scientists devised an even more challenging problem. In Europe, a number of zoos and research establishments keep Kias in captivity. But it's hard to prevent such sharp-minded creatures from becoming bored and frustrated in a cage. Presented with puzzles to solve, captive Kias tackle them with enthusiasm. In all the examples we've seen so far, the birds are solving a problem to get a reward. But what if the test is designed so the bird can't win by itself? The outcome now depends on teamwork. One bird needs another to pull the string so it can claim the food. Time after time, the Kias show they can cooperate. In the wild, this ability to learn and interact as a team is the key to their survival in a harsh mountain environment. So how does a young Kia develop these core skills? Is it instinct or education? Kias pair for life, nesting in tunnels among the rocks in inaccessible corners of the Southern Alps. Inside the nest, the female rears up to four chicks, feeding them on food collected by her mate, which she has pre-digested. Growing babies remain in the nest for around three months until they're fully fledged. They're certainly going to need all those warm, fluffy feathers. Their first winter in the mountains is a testing time for young, inexperienced birds. Snow flurries can appear suddenly at any time, sending the temperature plummeting. It's hard to find anything to eat in all this snow. 